What's good everyone? It's Steve from Sneaker Tech Talk back with another video today. For today's video, we're going to talk about the newly leaked Nike LeBron 22. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, now before we talk about the Nike LeBron 22, obviously LeBron's signature shoe line from its inception up to the 19 was very much tailored towards his needs. Massive zoom bags, massive airbags, shoes that were just really bulky and heavy and made for a six foot eight or six foot nine, 260 pound player. Now with the Nike LeBron 20s, they switched things up. This was the lightest LeBron shoe to date and they made his signature shoe in a low top form. This traction pattern is absolutely amazing. It has a carbon fiber midfoot shank plate, a massive zoom bag in the heel and forefoot and a knit upper. I've played in all the LeBrons from 1 to 21, and this is my favorite LeBron to play in bar none. So the 20, in my opinion, was the peak of his signature line when it comes to performance. Now obviously with the 21, we did get a very similar setup with the traction pattern, a multi-directional traction pattern, a very large 14 millimeter zoom bag, a zoom turbo bag in the forefoot, the upper on the Nike LeBron 21s, they do offer some premium uppers. This one here is a synthetic material, kind of like a patent leather material. I do prefer the material on the Nike LeBron 20s, just a little bit better. They are easier to play in and more breathable, but all things considered, the Nike LeBron 21 was a fantastic performer, and I didn't mind the aesthetics of this shoe right here, especially in this abalone colorway. Now, when it comes to the Nike LeBron 22, as you can see in this picture right here, it is a low top shoe, but that swoosh on the side just reminds me so much of the Zoom Freak 5. Now let me know what you think down in the comments, but for me, this colorway right here, the Monopoly colorway, is kind of a bland colorway. And as far as the design goes, I like the 20s and the 21s much better. I think they're just kind of grasping at straws at this point. But from what I see so far, I'm not a huge fan, but I will reserve my complete opinion as far as what I really think about the shoe when I do get them on court. But from my initial look here, I'm not a huge fan with that double swoosh design. A smaller one by the midfoot support plate right there, and then the large one that just kind of goes into the back of the shoe. The back of the shoe itself does look like it has a LeBron James uh, signature at the back of the shoe, but overall, I'm just not a huge fan of what they are offering. Now, there is some release details here. I am using Nike Talk on the Nike LeBron 22 forum. Now it says LeBron James journey with Nike is a tale of innovation, performance and basketball heritage involving over two remarkable decades since his first signature shoes debut. Each installment of LeBron series has pushed the boundaries of basketball footwear technology and design, mirroring the athlete's growth and evolution of the court on the court. Sorry. As we approach holiday 2024, the anticipation builds for the latest chapter in his storied collaboration with the Nike LeBron 22. The 22 is set to make its mark with a suite of advanced technologies and a design of philosophy that prioritizes comfort, durability, and style. While specific details of the tech specification remain under wraps for a series of peak performance and innovation. One of the debut colorways of the Nike LeBron 22 will be a blend of Royal Pulse Diffuse Blue and Football Gray with Metallic Silver. The Nike LeBron 22 will debut in holiday 2024 through Nike and select retailers now this is a pretty big point for me because the 20s and 21s did retail for 200 USD. The 22s are gonna retail for $180. They are lowering the price and $140 for the GS sizes. The first colorway is slated to come out for this pending signature line. Uh, it looks like, it, again, it just says holiday 2024. It has the style code, the colorway, and they are called the Nike LeBron 22 Royal Pulse. So sound off in the comments what you guys think of the Nike LeBron 22 when it comes to the overall aesthetics and the price point. Now for me, the 20s sold like hotcakes. Obviously it was a huge redesign, but the 21s can be found on Nike.com for like 50% off for around $100. And that is an absolute steal as far as performance goes in my opinion on the 21s but for me my favorite lebron shoe to play in all time is hands down the nike lebron 20s they're lightweight they're responsive great cushion they really have great materials in my opinion they break in really quickly and just the overall aesthetics of this shoe is 
absolutely amazing. So I'm very much happy that I picked up a ton of colorways of the Nike LeBron 20s. The 21s aren't bad. Overall, I'm not the biggest fan of the design. But sound off in the comments what you guys think of the Nike LeBron 22. I did want to do a quick video on just the overall aesthetics and the price point of the shoe and just kind of get your opinion on what you guys think. In my opinion, they loosely remind me of the Nike LeBron 6 samples. I'll throw up a picture right here, but they do loosely remind me of that. But as far as the online response, not a ton of people are overly happy with the design and the look of the shoe. But again, I will reserve my opinion for performance and once I get them in hand. But that's gonna do it for today's video. I just wanted to get this video out really quickly on my opinion on the overall aesthetics, the price point, and when we can expect the Nike LeBron 22. It is gonna be in holiday 2024, probably around that November timeframe of the next season start date. But sound off in the comments what you guys think. And as far as the price point with Nike lowering the price, I think the $200 price point for the 20s and the 21s was just crazy. I'm not a huge fan of shelling out $200 for a basketball shoe and I'm really happy they did lower the price and obviously LeBron's can be had on sale so I don't think that's going to be an issue for any of these models in the future. But like I said, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, if you guys could like, comment and subscribe, that definitely helps the channel a ton. And sound off in the comments as far as the last three models, is the Nike LeBron 20 your favorite? the 21 or the newly soon to be released Nike LeBron 22. Also check out my Instagram over at sneaker tech talk as it is an extension of my YouTube channel with all my pickups, basketball footage and nostalgia as a whole. As always, thanks for watching today's video and until next time, peace.